Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be talking about Doctor Who series 1, episodes 12 and 13, which is of course Bad Wolf and Parting of the Ways. We're finally reaching the end of the first series. Um, now these episodes, just my initial opinion, is sort of overwhelming. Doomsday is always going to be the most emotional season finale. And then series 1 finale and series 4 finale kind of come in joint, I think, for me. Now, just to brief you in case you can't remember and things, this one, Jack the, doc Jack the Doctor and Rose find themselves themselves kidnapped and to get out of this kidnapping they have to play all these stupid, mean, cruel games. So basically they're in different TV shows. There's, um, they're in Big Brother, they're in The Weakest Link, and there's one with Trini and Susanna. That one's quite funny. And you have to do all these things and defeat them, you know, like the android and Robinson droid has like laser eyes and things. And if when they're eliminated from the game, like for example Rose's one when she's eliminated, um the android shoots lasers and Rose turns into a pile of nothing, basically. Um so they sort of have to work out first of all who's in control, why are they doing this? How do they have to win the game? So they have to keep their mind focused on the game while trying to work out what on earth is going on. Um, that's the first part. And then in the second part they realise it's it's Daleks and they have to defeat the Daleks and and the Emperor Dalek is there. And it's very lovely. Of course the Daleks are fantastic and generally involved in every finale so far. Except series three. Yeah. So that was first of all to see the Daleks was lovely. I, I knew who the Daleks were by this point, of course. And I'm not scared of the Daleks. I love them. I thrive off of the Daleks. I think they're fantastic. Um, what really made me emotional in here is the scene um, when Rose looks into the heart of the TARDIS and um, the Doctor kisses Rose and it's the gold and it's it, he's going into regeneration and we're saying goodbye to Eccleston. By that point I'd already fallen in love with um, David Tennant because I, see, I saw him at Christmas before I saw series one. But just to say goodbye to Chris Eccleston, I didn't want to do it. I was like, no, my doctor. And actually now, whenever I read Doctor Who books, I always picture Eccleston, no matter what it says on the um, on the cover. So it was really upsetting to see Eccleston go. And it was horrible to see Rose, you know, Rose's life was um, on the edge. You know, we didn't, she, she couldn't, she might not have made it. So the Daleks wrecking Rose's life once again. So that was horrible to see Chris go, and I just didn't want it. That's really emotional and really quite horrible, but beautifully done, wonderfully directed. Um, also, the cast was brilliant. Obviously, you have Billy as Rose, who I love, and Eccleston as the Doctor. But the other two, Nisha Naya is in it, who plays Ali in the Pain and Tracy Beaker. And Joe Joyner is in it, and you guys know I love, 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 love Joe Joyner. Joe Joyner is fantastic. Jojo is incredible. She's definitely my favourite EastEnders, and well, Tanya is definitely my favourite character in EastEnders just now, um, and Jo Joyner herself is incredible. So she plays Linda with an eye, and she's such a fun, bubbly character, um, full of life and energy, and just, I suppose her personality would get kind of annoying after a while, but she was such a great character. I love Linda with an eye, so for Jo to be in this is amazing. You know, you have Jo in this finale, and Tracy Ann in Doomsday, and it's just so lovely. Um... But yeah, the episode is directed by Joe Ahern, who I think I mentioned in my last Doctor Who video, or possibly the one before that. But they've directed quite a few episodes, which is a good thing, um, and this is definitely one of my favourites from the series. Um, it's also written by Russell T Davies, and we all know pretty much anything written by Russell T Davies is going to be fantastic, and this is incredible. I do cry when I watch it, of course I do, but a Doctor Who episode wouldn't be a Doctor Who episode without Amy Tears. Um, but that's that's just come to the end of the um, the end of series one now. So I will start on my series two reviews next week probably. But that's all I have to say about this just now. Um, I can't believe we were at the end of series one, and I can't believe that's that's basically me finished talking about Christopher Eccleston in any video ever, unless I do like a Doctor Who tag or buy some Eccleston merchandise in another show. But as far as Eccleston as the ninth Doctor goes, I'll never be never be discussing another episode of his again. So I may never say his name again. Eccleston, 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 Eccleston. No, I don't want to say goodbye. And um, but yeah, so feel free to leave comments and things and let me know your thoughts. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.